And we are live. So StreamYard tells us we have to believe them because <laughs> they're right. usually right. Um, this is a, a multicast. Uh, this is what we love about StreamYard because uh, you could well be watching this uh, in the JHM group, in which case, mm. say hello in the comments, say hi. Uh, Lisa is here today, which I'm massively excited about, as always. <laughs> My good pal, oh, my lifelong friend Lisa Crofton is here. Yes. Um, if you're watching this in the group, say hello. If you're watching this uh, via the Johnny Cooper Global business page, say hello as well. It's also on my personal profile. And we're streaming to the Client Attraction Academy. Oh, wow. Well. We are That's everywhere today. Yeah. Yes. Um, we're also live on LinkedIn uh, via my account. Uh, it streams into YouTube, so please don't go on, into YouTube and watch it because that is a bit boring at this point. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> uh, we're also streaming onto Twitter, Lisa, which is really bizarre. Wow! Do you know Twitter does live videos? Yeah, I don't think anybody I don't watches know it there. I think most, most of you are going to be somewhere else. Um, I just want to highlight one thing right here, and you know, thanks by the way for all your lovely good mornings and all that kind of Gosh, stuff. Gosh, Sarah. Uh, Caroline's here. Hi. Buddy Brown's here. Nice. Uh, Coralie's here from that unpronounceable place where Coralie lives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Yes. Um, but I just want to point something out for you lovely people. Um, we've had one or two of you saying Facebook user hello, right? Facebook user hello. Let me just give you a pro tip, and it is as follows. Um, you will need, if you haven't done so far, to go to, can you see the bottom of the screen here? There's a scrolling banner to stream. That's Facebook. Cool. Now, Facebook user, whoever you are, we love you for being here. Thank you. But if you go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook, there's a big fat button there that you can just click. And it gives StreamYard permission to access your Facebook name and display it so we know who you are. I'm sure you look great. It's a lot more friendly that way, isn't it? It's a lot more convivial. So if you are appearing as Facebook user, see if you can do that. Just go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook uh, and, you, and you've cracked it then. Uh, I always got blather on about that, so I won't, I won't mention it anymore. Uh, let's just have a look. Well, what banner have we got here? Okay. Uh, right, no, what, what, <laughs> what I'm just trying to do is get rid of that comment. There we go. There you go. Neat. Yeah, so welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to put a banner on, which is the title for today's session. The three pillars of self-care. And it's clear something you're interesting because there's quite a few mm -hmm. jumped in uh, already today. Hi, everyone. Show yourself, says Lisa. Uh, Lisa, yeah. you've done that in private chat to me. I you saw that afterward, yes. To, to do that in the comments. Yeah. So Coralie's given us a pronunciation lesson here. Pull up. So you live in pull up. That's pull a great up. name, isn't it? Pull up. <laughs> pull up. Pull up. I'm glad you do. That's a lovely place to live. Um, Look at everybody. So the three pillars of self-care. What, what triggered this this morning was... Me just looking around at a few comments on the thread. And we see these all the time, don't we, Lisa? From people who yeah. just seem to be struggling a wee bit. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, we've we developed quite a radar over the years we've been doing this. I mean, between you and I, Lisa, we must have attended, I don't know, 1,500 sales calls, perhaps. <laughs> we've posted yeah. thousands of times, haven't we? You know, yeah, together and individually. Absolutely. and. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the reactions and the feedback and the conversations that we've been involved with are numerous. You know, too 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 many to count ultimately. Comments yeah. from, from you guys, you know, in the community. Um, you know, we do see a, a trend, it's an ongoing trend, it doesn't seem to be going away. It it's it kind of seems to be part of the part of the job description, you know, for online coaches and therapists that uh, you just kind of get a little bit overwhelmed, you get lonely, you get uh, unsure of what to do next. You know, all, all those all those really sad things which can be tweaked, you know, they are capable of being, being overcome, aren't they, aren't they Lisa? Mm. Yeah. You know, you're, you're looking at a time in history too where the whole world feels overwhelmed and you're no different. So you're getting clients who are overwhelmed, it's overwhelming you. It's, yeah. a, it's it's easy to feel it so heavily and deeply. So this is about, right? It starts becoming about, what do I do for me? How do I stay centered? How do I stay healthy? 
what's best um, for my well-being. Colin is my friend who owns the r ridiculously fast car that I was driving uh -huh. uh, a couple of weeks ago. And you are right, uh, Colin. You absolutely, you absolutely do. Um, so, well, let, let's get some involvement to start with, shall we, with, with you lovely folks who are here today. Um, what do you feel? If, if we, we, we've developed three pillars, I'm going to show you them. They're, they're ABCs, actually. They're really cool acronyms. We worked so hard on this, Lisa, didn't we? <laughs> to, to, to find the ABCs. The ABCs. Um, what would you say, if you had to name one, this is for you, fingers on keyboards, right? Uh, for everybody who's here today, fingers on keyboards. Just type the one major aspect of self-care, which is often overlooked or ignored or you know, put, put on the back burner by our community. So people are online coaches and therapists. What are they not doing that they should do, do you think? Or what is a uh, what is a, a, a symptom, you know, of a, of a lack of self-care? How, how does it show itself? Uh, Rajas has come up with a good one here. So I just feel overwhelmed posting content. Um, yeah, I was reminded of this this morning, Jeff, breathing exercises. Somebody just posted something. I think it was a Medium article. I, I tend to binge on Medium for half an hour every morning. There's some really good writers on that, medium.com. Um, and this person said, you know, just, just take a breath. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, amazing how different you feel after you've actually taken a deep breath and breath right. breathe properly. Uh, Jeff's lining them all up here. Yeah. yeah. Poor sleep. Yeah, sleep Let's keeps coming up. up. Interesting. Mm. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, in, in the round, Rajesh, this is what we're talking about, isn't it? This is what self-care is, really, looking after you. Mental health, we're going to go deeper into that for sure. Uh, Roy's picked up on that as well. Yeah. I think there's a growing awareness uh, of this, you know, and it, and it does, almost the extent that it sounds cliched when, when, when we talk about sleeping. Yeah. Um, I, I'm... I seem to have, and I, I don't think I've done this consciously, Lisa, but something just happened about two years ago. I started sleeping really well, like, you know, eight hours, and then just wake up and refreshed. That's, yeah, right. Um, I don't know what changed, because I I, I was, oh, I was quite quite fractious before, like quite broken sleep. You know? Yeah, I think, I think there's a couple things that, you know, lead into this, is that one, we are overdosing on technology, and we're doing it right up till bedtime. So whether it's the TV, whether it's your phone, whether it's your tablet, whether you're working up to that hour, your brain doesn't have a chance to, to just slow down. The second thing is you're taking all your anxieties and worries to bed with you. So when you're when you're laying in bed, when it's finally quiet and everything that you thought about, so that it starts yeah. to rush in, then you lay there with your eyes wide open or you fall asleep right away from exhaustion and you wake up a couple hours later and you can't get back to sleep. So maybe, we're really, maybe you've heard something with the quiet thing. I'm, I'm probably going deaf. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> it could be. Everything's that's quiet. It. That's it. But Jeff yeah. is making a good point right now. Most people breathe only to their chest all day long, right? We're only taking yeah. those half breaths. So we really have to expand the diaphragm completely. Exactly. Yeah. Hold that air in there and then let it out nice and slowly. And mm. as Dana's saying here, you know, posture tends to collapse. So if we're sitting up, oftentimes when I lead a group in any kind of a breathing exercise or meditation, first thing I do is say put your feet flat on the floor and extend your body up right because we have to open the lungs we have to open the body posture so air actually gets in but when you think about your environments right now your sleep environments what's in your room <coughs> is your cell phone plugged in next to your head oh, yeah. are you watching tv before bed uh, right? yeah. are you so we've got to get rid of all of that and make our yeah. sleep space our sleep space and nothing else <laughs> Yeah, we, yeah. We, we've got really good at that, to be fair. We, we, we yeah, have a TV really since we redid the bedroom, and it's minimalist. Nice. That's it's a really nice. cool open mm -hmm. space. Yeah. Uh, there there yeah. was a lot of clutter in it um, previously. We, we we chopped out some some fitted wardrobes because there's too many oh. cupboards and all mm -hmm. kinds of things. Get more space, you know. Like, yeah, definitely. We always have the window open as well. There's a great line from Paul Simon nice. somewhere. He's, he's breaking up with his girlfriend, and. Uh, <laughs> One of the reasons he gives, he says, um, I like to sleep with the window open. You like to sleep <laughs> with the window closed. So goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That's the <laughs> Yes. 
Yeah, yeah right, right. The bloody window open. Adequate hydration, yeah, all of the above. Right, go. okay. Well, listen, Facebook user, stop jumping in uh, <laughs> <laughs> because this is one of the things we're going to talk about. <clears throat> we're not going to reveal all three at once, but I've done some cunning little banners here. The ABCs, I should have retired it, shouldn't I? The ABC of self care. Uh, number one is alignment. Um, now, when I was thinking of this, what we, what I had in mind was, this is about your your daily actions. It's about your your work, your schedule, your what do we call it? The personal daily process. We call it in the cloud, don't we? Yeah. And the question I want you to ask at all points during the day, um, you can set it up early in the morning if you want. But I would actually check in with this question during the day, and the question is as follows. Is what I am doing now in alignment with my greater goals? Yeah. In other words, uh, sometimes I express this, is it moving me closer towards my goals? Or is it moving me away from? Or is it indeed a blockage that's stopping me even seeing and recognizing my goals? So lots of kind of concepts around this idea of alignment. Um, you actually came up with this word, didn't you, when we were wrestling with the ABCs? Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what does alignment feel like to you, Lise? Well, alignment is about uh, you know being being having your having your external environment match your internal environment, and, right, and aligning yeah. with right and, and with aligning with things that create the the path of least resistance for you. So if all day long you feel yeah. out of uh, you know, uh, sort of out of alignment with what works for you. Let's face it, right? You bring your car in for alignment for a reason, right? <laughs> right. If it's so out of alignment, it's right gonna, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's going to go all over the place and eventually it's going to break. So yeah. this is it. We have to make sure that our thoughts, our values, our, our uh, desires, our oh. natural instincts are aligned with what we're doing. Uh, well, this so is brilliant. I think we're really getting somewhere. And this is totally about self-care because you know what? If you if you're just wandering along in the in the darkness and you've no idea what you're doing, <laughs> you're allowing yourself to be as 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 Rajesh mentioned earlier. You know, you're allowing yourself just to be consumed with social media and other people's content. Mm. Then uh, you're just never going to get anywhere. There's no way that that is in alignment with any of your goals. Right. Um, okay, let's have some thoughts from you guys, please. Uh, fingers on keyboards. Tell us um, in a word or two or a few words, uh, as Jeff Brown has, what does alignment mean to you? Jeff said congruence is a synonym. It's a good yep. word. So is what you're doing congruent with what you should be doing? Yep. Another way to think of it is, um, are you moving towards becoming the person that you want to be? Yeah, yeah, anytime soon. Want to live, Give right? us some ideas as to what alignment means to you, and and you know, spread, uh, share your thoughts as to whether you feel that you're completely aligned with your goals at the moment. Uh, are your actions, uh, your thoughts, uh, your feelings, for that matter, are they aligned with where you want to get? To? Are they aligned with your goals? Do you feel like you're in alignment or out of alignment? If you're out of alignment, why? Just share some thoughts on that and we'll, we'll trigger some discussions from you personally. Uh, Rita has said, whatever I do, I put myself first. This is alignment. It has to be in line with my values and passion. Yeah. 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 Like the gold uh, logo there, Rita. It looks very good. Yeah. Brown and gold. Um, nice. So to Coralie, it means living in the present moment. Yeah. I think that's part of it, um, only in so much as what you're doing in the present moment is moving you towards your goals. You know, right. It's creating momentum, isn't it? Yeah. The opposite of momentum is inertia. And actually, just, just you know, tapping into a conversation Lisa and I had earlier, uh, we, we were discussing a couple of our, of our dearest clients who seem to be trapped with this kind of inertia. You know, there's this unwillingness. Uh, to move forward, whereas yeah. if they could just get the ball rolling, build some momentum, everything would change for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So al alignment is about doing stuff now that's going to get you to, to where you want to get to, be fully aligned. Yeah, you need a clear goal. Of course you do. If you don't know what your goal is, you can't head towards it, can you? No. 
Yeah. Any other thoughts on alignment? What does alignment mean to you? Do you feel that you're currently in alignment? Do your actions support your your stated goals? We sometimes see, you know, that people state a goal um, without really meaning it. Um, it's going to sound a bit brutal, this, but oftentimes people lie to themselves about their goals. Yeah. They say, okay, I want to do this. Yeah. But when it comes down to it, they don't want to do it enough. Mm -hmm. Well, so I should, I should tell you, they don't actually. want to do what they don't, you know, sometimes the end goal looks fantastic, but yeah. what doesn't line up is what it's actually going to take to reach the goal. So sometimes we want what we see other people have, but the truth is, the steps to getting there or the time that it takes or what it's going to what it's going to take from us to do this isn't know, lined yeah. up with the value so you really have to look at it all the way all the way through yeah. uh and, mo and many people don't yeah mm. i think there's a quote from richard bach i think it was part of the that marvelous little book uh jonathan livingston seagull remember mm. that one yes it's a it's a, it's a really, really nice it's almost biblical this book in the, in the way that he, he writes but uh i think he said you know um, the, the, the way to achievement is to work out what you want and then decide what you're prepared to give to get there. Right. I yes. like that. Decide what you're prepared to give. Yeah. Because it might be that your goal is actually outside of what you're prepared to do. That's right. I mean, that's very, very honest of you, of you Ranch, as well. We're, we're, we're familiar with your with your dilemma, you know. Um, alignment for Emily is making life feel better, making sure that small changes are a step. How important is that? Yeah. 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 I often say at this point, you know, if you read one book this year, read uh, Atomic Habits by James Clear. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it's all about that, isn't it? I, I would suggest, too, to, um, to really look at what your values are, because I think that we're taught very early on in life that values have to do with honesty and integrity and, 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 and things like that. But that, that, that's not, those are staples of your character. But when you're looking at your values, really yeah. take a peek at what's important to you. And one of the ways to ask yourself, what, it, what are my real values is what attracts me to certain people, situations, right, and circumstances? Now, when I took a when I took a deep look at that, I started to realize, you know, I, part of my character is being honest, or uh, you know, integrity is very important to me, and all of the other things that you think mm -hmm. kindness. But the true values that I operate under are originality, creativity, right? I started to think about that that I don't yeah, and, and intellect, right? Which is, you know, if I if I'm mm -hmm. honest with you, Johnny, right? One of the things that that uh, make it made it easy for me to pair with you is. You're original, you're intellectual, right? And you're creative. And so I don't like to be with people, circumstances, or anything yeah, about like if they don't have those three values, right? So yeah. go deeper. And, and then you'll find out what really yeah, is really your jam. Well, we'll 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 talk more about, about that. And that, and thank thanks for those those kind words, by the way. Uh I assume they, they felt like kind words when they landed. They um, were. Yeah. Uh we, we'll go more into that when we look at the C. Yes. If you know what I mean, mm -hmm. at least knows what I mean. Uh, so mm -hmm. Sarah thinks she's in alignment. Uh, I'm in charge with the motivation at the moment. Let's have a look. Uh, I'd rather be off traveling, Jeff. Well, <laughs> th there's, there's something talking to you. You know, um, think of the three yeah. freedoms you can create with. This right. A, you know, um, financial freedom. Mm, right. Mm, time freedom. Yes. Yeah. And location freedom. Are all at our fingertips at our portable keyboard, aren't they? So if you want to go traveling, Jeff, go bloody traveling, mate. Oh, go, go do it. You've, That's it. you've got my permission, I tell you. One thousand dollars will give change them. Yes, now. So okay. this is a misalignment, then, isn't it? A little bit. Um, because anybody can do that. You can make a list of a hundred goals that people might have and go after all hundred in sequence, but that's <laughs> not uh not very productive is it so um yeah just set a goal and, and go after it you know i, I it's interesting isn't it? They don't, this is not to be a, a life quest you know you can have a medium term goal and just determine to do it and decide you're going to do it i've got a long-term goal i've decided to live to 103. <laughs> right it's my, long, it's my long term goal uh hi sir oh, yeah great to see you uh, great topic today. Yeah, it, well, it's going to get better, so do not leave. Stick to the end. Uh, we've got another good half hour at this, and it's, uh, we've got some really great ideas for it. Alignment is when what we do in the world is integrity with who we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Donna, very wise. Donna's our resident sage today, definitely. <laughs> that works. Uh, some more words from Ranch. Uh, challenge breaking down. Yeah. So it, it yeah, it, exactly. So your your goals become a kind of wish, don't they? A kind of wish list, if only. Mm -hmm. uh, wi without this strategy in place to actually how are you going to get there. Right. Uh, Raj is very creative today. Uh, mm -hmm. Bucky's next to my reading list. Yeah. How do you get Atomic Habits? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. By James Clear. Any other recommended books? Oh, don't get me going. Mm -hmm. Yes, is the answer. That's a good book as well. Yeah. Jamie Smart is a, a personal mentor of mine from way back. Uh, <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's intellectual good, right? but negative. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's my Financial favorite. freedom is the most important goal. Uh, with financial freedom, I can, yeah, well, exactly. I mean, you know, um, you can come up with any number of uh, resonant quotes there about money, like, you know, um, um, people who say money doesn't buy happiness usually haven't got any, or you could say uh, <laughs> money doesn't buy happiness, but poverty buys nothing. You know, that's not the way I look at it. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to look at my negatives, positives each day. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we'd have to have some more context for that, but mm -hmm. and and there's, there's no harm in having a negative, but you, it's how you deal with a negative, isn't it? How you think about a negative. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, working towards your purpose keeps things aligned. We're getting some great stuff here, aren't we? Atomic habits changed my life. Wow, I made a contract with my personal trade trader and nutritionist. Yeah, she might train her, I think. I think you might try it. Yeah. yeah, success yes. close. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That is wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. Set the goal and come back setting small, achievable winning steps towards it. That's yeah. right. By the way, Facebook user, if you want to show your name, go to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. Give it permission to display your name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, reframing. Mm -hmm. That could be part of it if you're framed in the wrong direction. Definitely. Training, yeah, exactly. So um, we're really proud of Coralie. Um, Coralie is in her eighth decade on this planet. Right. <laughs> which is astounding, really. Yes. Um, and to have a personal trainer at a stage in life you're at is remarkable. It's exactly what you need to do. Yeah, I intend to be working with mine in 20 years' time, if she'll still have me. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, yeah, fantastic. So, uh, yeah, you should be as well. So that's the A, alignment. Uh, shall we unfurl the second one? These are A, B, Cs, right? The three stages of, what do we call it, self-care? Uh, three pillars of self-care. Yeah. So first one's alignment, second one is boundaries. And one of you've touched mm -hmm. on this one mm -hmm. already today. What do you think boundaries mean, really, in our context, Lisa? Yeah, I think, you know, everybody in here is an entrepreneur and uh, and is a, a carer in, in some ways, right? Either coach or therapist. And we have to have boundaries in order not to lose our, our own mojo. Right? So what it means to have boundaries when we, when we keep it in the context of alignment, it's staying true to those values. In other words, I won't work with someone who doesn't fit those values or I won't take time out of my scheduled day for my tasks, for things that are not going to bring me closer to those goals. And yeah. even when it's a life and, and death or health issue, we can still put boundaries around those. We can start to say to ourselves, well, what's my priority and how do I stick with it? The problem with our particular industry's DNA, we have this one little thing that's that keeps flashing in front of our eyes and that's guilt. I, I can't say no, I feel guilty. Uh, I can't not help somebody. I feel guilty. I, I can't take time for myself because it takes time from somebody else, away from somebody else. Not true. Right. The very first thing that we have to take care of, right, is is that setting those boundaries in terms of our own health, our own mindset, and our own goal setting. Right? And if we're not if we're not strong enough to put those boundaries around us, then we're always encroached upon. Yeah, that like leads that. to resentment. It leads to burnout, and it and it definitely leads to confusion about where we're headed because we yeah. never get there, right? We say I want to be there, but then we're constantly distracted. 
Um, which is very very closely uh, connected with alignment with the first one isn't it yes if you're yeah. fully aligned with your goals and you know what you want to achieve and where you're going to go yeah then those boundaries will automatically appear for you right um i reached out to a very renowned coach a couple of months back um who i've wanted to work with for ages and i suggested uh you know uh, that we we'd start to work together and, and, and put what I thought was a great proposition. She said she's not taking on any new collaborations this year. She's got the whole year planned out. And uh, if I wanted to contact her VA, she could <laughs> put, me in, put me in the calendar for 2024. Oh. And there's a spectacular, you know, if a bit of a slapdown for me, but uh, there's a spectacular, uh, you know, example of yeah. someone who's got clear boundaries right. and yep. knows is completely in alignment with her goals. She knows exactly where she's going. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's easy to say no at that point, isn't it? You, you, you know what no means, basically. That's it. Uh, and that's a lot it. of times that no, everybody, <laughs> sometimes that no isn't actually a no. It's just a not now or not yet. All right. So we're not cutting yeah. people out. We're saying I, it's not possible right now. All right. So let me talk to you later or yeah. whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. Raj, that's not such a silly thing because that's a good analogy, isn't it? You know, if the ball goes out, it goes out. Um, same on a racetrack, you know, track limits. Yeah. If you put a wheel in the dirt and set a faster time, you get that time gets disallowed. The, yeah. the, the, the analogy there is, you know, stay in your lane, stay yes. in your lane, yes. understand your boundaries. The other thing I was thinking of when we came up with boundaries uh, is as simple as something I did just before we went live. I closed the door to my office. Yeah, right. that's, that's, an example of a, that's an example of an actual sure. boundary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, because what could happen otherwise? Um, we could get interrupted, couldn't we? My, my focus would be, yes. would, would be interrupted. And I do that not just when I'm live, because obviously there's a, you know, a, a natural reason why it might not be so good to have uh, other people walking in the background on this screen but you know when writing something you know when i'm creating yeah, something right. i'm in the flow you know somebody tapping on the shoulder and saying you know we just had a phone call from the milkman or something like that right. i know i said milkman uh the window <laughs> cleaner <there you. laughs> does he still have milkman <laughs> still have milkman. actually have no i don't think we do i don't think we do um i know uh yeah so here's a good one set a time to sleep yes yeah i do that i do not disturb from uh 9 p.m to 9 a.m so 12 hours yeah i know a lot of people who do that yep yeah do not disturb uh leave mobile phones out uh rude though what was rude what was rude Who we're saying know? no is that i was curious about that are we saying saying, that, saying, no, saying no, no is rude, rude? yeah and, and you know, most people who are not as aligned as you, and that's why both these first two are still on the screen, right? Yeah. If you're fully aligned and you're continuously hassled by people who are not fully aligned, they don't yeah. realize what it actually means to be aligned. Yeah, so they, they, don't. They, don't, they don't think they're encroaching yeah. encroach on your boundaries. We've all had it where somebody says, just don't know. Um, can I pick your brains? Can I pick your brains for a minute? Well, that, that's a sign to me of, somebody who doesn't appreciate the concept of boundaries or, or, or alignment or any of that good stuff because they, yeah. they're obviously living their lives on uh, minute to minute aren't they and just going oh i know what I'll ask johnny see what he thinks i'd be curious too to see how many in this room actually know what their boundaries are okay uh, because many people in here are less structured than they are go with the flow so going with yep. the flow is an excellent skill, but how many Chloe's of you know where the line is? You're right. Oh my yes. God, we're so rich in metaphors today. Yeah. Look at this, the banks of a river keep the flow moving. Of course it does. Exactly. Otherwise it's a disaster. Lisa, you're absolutely right. Let, let's do this. Fingers on keyboards. Mm -hmm. What do boundaries mean to you? And probably just a little sentence about um, how you are with your boundaries how, how do you enforce boundaries yeah which ones do you set which, which ones, ones do, you set? do you set right what what's you your set? favorite boundary that you have in your life right now mm. it's such a big <laughs> word isn't it such a big Chef. Word. <laughs> who's looking for a massage at 9 30 p.m yep that would be a boundary of mine <laughs> yeah. wow well full disclosure I'd, I'd have loved a massage at 9 30 last night because i was well 
but yeah. you've got you have a partner that might give you one now. <laughs> you wouldn't call a professional. She does if I if only I ask her. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, as a prior, yes to saying everything. No is on the most powerful words. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, as long as you do it for a reason, you don't want to just you know dismiss everybody out of hand on of the same not. basis that you say no right. to everyone. Um some things are worth saying yes to, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, Roy's got it here, right? Refusing to be available at a moment's notice. Um, you know, we have yeah. we've we've become a society accustomed to be on call and available through phones 24 hours a day. Yeah. All right. And so for those of us who still remember where the, where we didn't have to carry a phone around all the time, people yeah. just learn to wait, right? Until we yeah. get back to them. And we can still do that. We don't have to answer every call, every text, every message immediately. You, you become, no, no, yeah, no, you start no. to think about that. No. Um, it's a way of, of gaining respect, not only for yourself, but for the people who work with you or mm. want to work with you. Look at this. I, 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 HGM's mentioned here. Yes. Uh, a family issue with boundaries. Well, exactly. exactly. I mean, that, that's that's kind of what I was talking to when I said I shut the door here. Yeah. It's not being rude. It it, it sets a, a signal, and then they that's understand right. it, and they're, they're they're fine with it as well. You know. That's right. Because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're, they're fine with it too. Uh, boundaries set my life. Extended family. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Chloe. That's true. When I, when I when I asked in the group earlier this week about you know what are the signs you might have a nightmare client, um, yeah. there was a story. I, I think. Was it Mimi? It was. It was somebody, wasn't it? One of our direct clients who uh, said that she she got a, a WhatsApp message at three o'clock in the morning from somebody saying, "Yes, can, yes. Can, can, can we talk?" Well, as we've mentioned earlier, technology is your friend because there's a thing called "do not disturb," and you just put that on from nine till nine or whatever you want. You know, they, they, they can't do that, can they? Can't contact. Uh, what have we got? Flow. Created by Russian scientists, mainly. No idea what that means. Mm. Uh, yeah, voice mail. Yeah, yeah, right. It's a long hours. <laughs> really Listen, here. here's the caveat to that. I used to have voicemail. I used to have voicemail alerts switched on. <laughs> Every time somebody left a voicemail, I'm going, bing, <laughs> bing. Or some horrible noise until I listen to the voicemail. Uh, yeah, but because I'm busy, I get back to you later. Yeah. yeah. I, I, actually, just a caveat to that. One of the things I find most annoying is people have out of office email messages. Oh, I forgot about those. Because I send a <laughs> because I send a daily email to my list. There's two and a half thousand people on it now. Oh, and there's you a proportion that. of those every day that immediately replies back to me. Am I at the office till nine o'clock? Am I at the office on annual leave? You know, till March the twentieth. I don't want to know <laughs> that. I'm not interested. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. That feels like you've set a boundary. It makes you feel proud. Of, That's my boundary. But it isn't. It's just annoying. So don't stop doing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> out of office emails. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> I, you know, I have a habit. My phone is never, the sound is never on. It's never yeah. on. And, uh, and there so people, go, right. I don't, I don't shut them up. And this is a, I'm looking at this one too. I was noticing that's it. Set your work time. You have to know when am I willing to work? When am I not? Yeah. Uh, and, and it's okay. And, you know, don't forget that we're, 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 most of us are global now. So time zones play into everything. Oh, no, and so yeah. you might get a, you, you wake up in the morning and somebody was messaging you at 3 a.m. Well, oh, no. it wasn't 3 Right, it's not three a.m. for them, so they're not. I, I, I had somebody's to calendar them. recently that I, I couldn't possibly address. Uh, Pearl Pacific yeah. Coast, and they wanted me to talk to them at ten o'clock at night. Or something. Right, uh, right. Yeah, you know, dawn when you gain respect. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I learned this years ago when I was uh, setting up for myself in in financial services. Um, the wrong way to do it with a potential client was to say, uh, "Right, okay, lots of a challenge. When are you free?" Because you've, you've handed over the whole of your calendar yeah, to that individual, to then. Mm -hmm. and they, they think you're not busy. They get the subliminal message that you're not busy, not successful. Right. Uh, that's why the uh, the calendar scheduling tool is so important these days. You Sweet. just send them a link, and you can de you can deliberately just display the times you want to show them. Yeah, which is good. Uh, yeah, you mentioned it before. Yeah. Not, it is me, Haley. What's he <laughs> talking about? Right, yeah. Josh, are you having a stroke or something? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Uh, Stop typing these words. Victoria, great uh, to see you. Oh, it's Victoria. It's so nice. We love you, Miss Seed. We, we love you. We certainly do. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I did guess that, uh, actually, the flow of the performance method. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Lisa, shall we do the C? Let's do it. I think, I think we've done boundaries nicely, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, so here's the third one. The ABCs, guys, of self-care. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I came up with collaborations is simply this, that a lack of self-care can involve loneliness and isolation, can't it? Mm -hmm. If you're not reaching out to anyone, you're not having any conversations with anybody, uh, your existence becomes very, very unfulfilling, doesn't it? And uh, if the only person you have to listen to is yourself, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with all that that might involve, um, then you, you're not going to make such good progress. And you know, as we touched on earlier, we live in a, in a remarkable time when universal connectivity is available to us all. Um, and it's certainly true. I can sit here today without fear of anyone arguing with me successfully um, and say that every client that you might ever want to work with, every mentor you might ever want to reach out to, to help you, and every collaborator, every peer that you might want to actually partner with is available to you at the touch of a keyboard, isn't it? These people are just there. Mm -hmm. Just reach out and start conversations with people, interesting people that you want to collaborate with. Um, we can get into the nitty gritty of it uh, in a bit, but I'd like to get a steer from from you uh, if you're watching this live or, or on the recording. Um, Set your fingers on your keyboard and give us give us an idea of a collaboration that either you've you're already involved with, you've already set up, or you would like to set up. What kind of a collaboration would you like to have with another human mm -hmm. um, that would help to facilitate and improve your self-care because that's what the topic is today isn't it self-care yeah who could you who would you like to collaborate with today that would really make a difference to your life you i would i would uh, you name an idea of somebody i would suggest as well that collaborations work just as well in your personal life to free you up for more attention to your business goals uh yeah. there are times when you've got childcare uh challenges or you've got uh you have uh, responsibilities in your personal life that can also be shared by someone else you know yeah. trading trading off on childcare or trading off on uh on, on tasks that you're responsible for sharing those sorts yeah. of things with your partners or other people i often ask people do you really have to do that or is there somebody else who could also do it yeah right and all, always there's there are little things that you've assumed are your responsibilities or you re, you've assumed them as your responsibilities no, you're right you're absolutely right i i, I think of my my, my small team, my micro team as collaborators. Right, you know, yeah. They're going mm -hmm. to do stuff that either I don't want to do or, or they can yeah. do better than me you know, and, and, and more quickly than me. I just wanted to, yeah. to, to touch on a word there that, that Hillary's used, um, oh, yeah. you know, network. When you collaborate mm -hmm. with someone, right. if you do it strategically, you get access to their network too. And, Correct. You know, yeah. one of the things that we teach very, very vividly in the CAB is that the easiest way to... to, to find an audience of your ideal clients is to work with someone who's already got the audience of your ideal clients yeah. and, and collaborate with them. This could be group admins, uh, there could be other people in our space who are uh, you know, working with the same audience but on a different thing. Right. And uh, you know, that, that's part of the great success that Lisa and I have enjoyed these last few years because you know, um, I, I, I'm a kind of strategy guy. And, Lisa's a, a, a mindset, you know, a heart-centered uh, coach and practitioner. So, you know, we, we, we collaborate brilliantly together. So there's going to be somebody out there for you, you know, mm -hmm. that you can collaborate with, not necessarily exclusively and solely, but but certainly, uh, you know, work with. Let's, uh, let's see what Rita said. Finding other mentors and network with them in a way you exchange sessions with each other. Yeah, that could work. If they can benefit you, you can benefit them. Uh... Oh my goodness! I know. Well, we we've met Lance, of course, and he's, yes, a, he, yes. he's a wonderful chap. You know, he's a wonderful chap. We 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 bonded him, bonded with him straight away. Um, Coralie Coleman, for the rest of you, kept came along to our Arizona summit, and we hung out in a glorious villa for the best part of three days. And Coralie brought her husband along, and it was uh, fantastic. Yeah, really good. Uh, doing a podcast with someone else. 
Yeah, I think podcasts are a nice, easy way to start a collaboration, aren't they? Because you can, you know, without too much jeopardy, if you like, you can test each other's personalities. You can just make sure you get on. Right. Yeah. I often think if you can talk well together and present well together, you're going to get on and okay. give each other space. You know? Yeah. Uh, yes, Steve Chandler, I have. Branch, thank you very much. I was going to say, yeah, okay. Victoria. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah. Well, what you might have missed uh, <clears throat> earlier, uh, Victoria, uh, and we, we'll summarise it a bit later, actually, because you, you're going to be here. And we'll, we'll go through the, the three pillars, if you like, of self-care. But, yeah, no, I, I get that. Uh, uh, okay. If you'd like to collaborate with a social media marketer. Okay. Uh, Hillary's in a group of coaches. Use a particular tool. Do you want right. to name that tool, Hillary, just for our curiosity? I don't know what it is. Get referrals from it. Uh, Chloe collaborates with other healers in my sacred writing programs. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So th those things in that list uh, of Chloe's right. sound bath healers, yoga, trauma informed healers, they're all right. uh, particular uh, skills, specialities, aren't they? And it's uh, it's highly unlikely that uh, any one of us have covered all the specialities, even in our own niche. So, yeah. Somebody with a you know complementary but non-competing uh, thing is is excellent to work with. Without a doubt. Right, right. How uh, well, guy for a body, Good. mind, and spirit. Nice yeah, Good. we like that, don't we? There's some great collaboration ideas coming up here. There really are. Yes, yes. Um, and yeah, JVs are promoting to someone else's list. You get into the realm of affiliate marketing here, don't you? Yes. Um, you know, if you have an audience. Uh, into which you could sell somebody else's product, then why not? You know, and what happens here is you don't lose your audience. They don't suddenly go off and, you know, they, they belong to the other person. What actually happens is if you sell somebody else's non-competing and valuable product, your audience regards you even in higher esteem, doesn't they? Because they see you as a, a very useful person who refers them to interesting things. That's why I was talking about other people's books. And I, you know, often post about quotes from other people who I admire. Mm -hmm. And then my readers have got that from me then. So they're, you know, they're going to regard me as a, a useful person for doing that. Uh, yeah. You know, collaborate with the I. Uh... You lost us. You lost us, Raj. We didn't know what you're talking about there. I think I think Raj is on the mushrooms. Yeah, it's talking about... <laughs> are, you, are you on the shrooms? <laughs> Greg, you, you and I really need to launch this podcast, my friend. Uh, we do uh, the Millionaire MBA podcast. Let's get it off the ground. Let's Great, do it this, this week. Let's do it yeah. straight away. Uh, team offering full moon meetups. Oh! oh. People yep. love the moon. Uh, I wish I knew who you were, Facebook user. I've got a detective yeah. that you've posted <laughs> before in this comment thread. Don't know yeah. who you are. If you go to, to stringyard.com, forward slash Facebook, uh, we can display your name or we can find out who you are. Uh, okay, think grow rich. Yeah, okay, okay. Raj, we Ooh. love Raj. He, he hogs all these uh, these chats, which is great. Raj got mag magic activation deck. What is that? A collaboration mm. tool? Oh, oh, that's the tool oh, you okay. mentioned, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Okay, yeah, nice. Three pills of self care. He's yeah, repeating, so repeating. the three pills of self care are as below. We'll we'll, we'll just yeah, recap them on before we before we finish. Thanks, yeah. Raj. Raj is so active. Uh, we love you, Raj. Do swap some trims to the therapist so we can recommend each other. Yeah, look, oh. there's, the, there's the caveat to collaborations, right? This is really important, guys. If you're going to collaborate with someone, um, taste their products first. <laughs> taste their products first. That's right. I did this in the early days. Oh. I put together really quickly a panel of experts, right? And you know what? As, as, as time went on, it just it, I realised that half of them weren't actually experts at all. I acted too quickly, so be careful here. Get to know people. Make sure that their products pass your quality test. Yes. Yeah, let's yeah, do it, Greg. Let's yeah. do it. It's Claire. Claire is our mystery Facebook user. It's Claire Church. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Authors are dead easy to collaborate with, aren't they? Because writing is a solitary pursuit. 
Mm. And if, if somebody else approaches you who's also writing a book, you can help each other out, can't you? That's right. Help each other to account. Edit stuff. You're right. Read their stuff. You know, I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. I'm in line with Lisa wearing a vest. <laughs> I'm getting cold. Oh. I know. I've got yeah. this. There's Wait, something about one in the vest top. It always gets me going. I, don't know. <laughs> I think I'm a shoulder man. You, a shoulder man. I'm a shoulder Plenty guy. of shoulders where I live. Plenty of them. <laughs> Plenty uh, of shoulders where I live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you are, Ranch. She's lining up as yeah. a guest already. There he goes, networking. Okay. Great. Well, look, okay. I think what we'll do, uh, let's do a, a recap, shall we, Lisa? Uh, yeah. So we started with alignment. Uh, so in summary, what does alignment mean in terms of a self-care routine? Mm, yeah. So th th I'd love to see this right now. It, when you think about yourself aligned, what does your day have to have for it to flow easily, for it to feel like you are in a zone of your own um, where everything just sort of comes? That's alignment, right? When, when everything aligns right. So if we're talking about self-care and we're talking about our health, Right. If we eat a big giant meal of pasta in the middle of the day, we're falling asleep by the afternoon. Yeah. It's not aligned with what we want for our day. So when yeah. we talk about every action that we take in terms of our own well-being, does this does this make sense? Yeah. Right. It is is what I'm about Food, to do. So what do you do? Drink. Right. Right. How do you keep yourself in alignment during the day? I'd love to. I'd love to see some of those thoughts in the chat. Um, what are you doing now to keep yourself aligned? Yeah, um, I'll tell you, my, my big goal is I've decided to live to 103 uh, in, in, in good health. And therefore, um, drinking lots of water is in alignment with that. Sleeping eight hours a night is in, right. in alignment with that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say a plant-based diet is in alignment with that, which is what I now follow. Um, yep. I'll just print it off today, actually. Uh, <laughs> this is from ChatGPT, right? I said... Give me 20 ideas for healthy, vegan, protein-rich snacks, uh, which could be prepared in 10 minutes or less. And it went. That's nice. Absolutely stunning. I printed nice. it off. It's on a bit of paper. It's in the kitchen now. Yeah. It's all about seeds and pulses and nuts and grains mm. uh, and, and leaves and fruit and nuts. It's That's remarkable. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So that, that's in alignment with my big goal to live to 103, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, there's a, just as we're talking about that, um, if you notice the way he says that, he says, I've decided. And there's actually a book out there right now that's called I've Decided to Live to 120. Because oh, yeah. the, the premise is that when we hit our 60s, everybody's thought processes were conditioned to think, oh, I need to start slowing down. Retirement's coming. I need a slower lifestyle. And so we start the wind down <laughs> to death. All right. So if we oh, said, oh, God, yeah, that, what an awful right? idea that is. It is, but that's what yeah. that's what our, our minds are conditioned to do. So if we say the words, well, I've decided that I want to live to blah, 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 yeah. then then all of a sudden that changes. So how can I be more active? I mean, Coralie would know about this, right? So yeah. you know, how, how do I change my life? Wow, now I have all this free time. I can finally do what I've always wanted to do. Now we change our minds. So and I, I'm, I'm all for moving faster rather than moving slower as well as, as I get right? older. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this yeah. is a literal right. example of that. I, I've reached out this week to a, a driver coach for... Oh, that's fun. Because I want to get faster on the racetrack, right? There you go. Right. right. We stop right. challenging ourselves after a certain age. Yeah, now exactly. we have to ask, what's the next challenge? What can I? I saw a lady today pull up to our, our uh, breakfast table this morning. And she had to be probably in her mid-70s, probably close to 80. And she rode her bike. She had her water bottle on her bike. She had a she had a yellow vest for safety on. And I saw yeah. her pull up, tie her bike, take her vest off. She looked lovely underneath, shake her hair off because she had a helmet on, sat That's down and yeah. waited. And a woman came up and said, how'd you get here before me? Well, her woman friend drove. And this woman rode her bike there. <laughs> and then I heard her talking about yeah. how she rode here and she rode there. And I thought I was just fascinated by her because I thought there's a woman who's embracing yeah, right, exactly. life in that way. Yeah, health exactly. and life. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting my bike out this weekend because the, the weather's mm. probably going to be warm enough to, to, to do yes. it. I don't like getting cold on a bike. But, um, we so go. we've, got some, yes. we've got some great ideas here about exercise for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is great. Uh, Emily's got a business plan when she's 80. That's fantastic, isn't it? Um, Roy is a, is a cycling uh, coach. Woo! 
basically oh, run nice by those international cycling uh, events. So if you're interested in cycling retreats, uh, reach out to Roy right. Everett because he's, he's your man to do that. Jim McGill's Master Approach 60. Yeah, stop giving any Fs. There you go, boundaries. <laughs> Love stuff. it, Hillary. Want to complete the last two of the nine 4,000 foot mountains in the UK this year. Oh, love these goals. Yeah. Uh, as long as you show up, hello. Uh, so, alignment. So, that's the first one of the three pillars, isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. Alignment. Make sure that what you're doing uh, is actually in alignment with what you're saying, right? What you're telling people you're going to do. Uh, if you've written goals down, which of course you should, um, check your actions against those goals and ask the in question, as we said to start with, um, is what I am doing now moving me closer to my goal or further away? Boundaries was number two pillar, wasn't it? Boundaries. Right. I gave a literal example of closing the door to an office so that you, know, you have a, mm -hmm. uh, a, a space with boundaries. Yep. Um, what what are the boundaries did we come up with earlier? Yeah, the you know it, changing your environment so that it that it tends uh, to to serve you during the day, right? Like I said, I don't put the sound on my phone. That means yeah. I don't look at my phone till I'm ready to look at my phone. I uh, I don't I'm not I'm not uh, distracted by every little ping and noise that comes through the phone. Uh, yeah. Same thing on your computer. You can do the same thing if you're working on your PC. You can you can set those notifications to silent. And then yeah. set a time during the day where you go and look at those so that you're not going down a rabbit hole. Uh, yeah. You know, the other thing is being able to say no to people who know you're working from home. Uh, and so yes. your family, don't answer the phone. Don't answer, uh, you know, barring emergencies. But don't don't answer right now. Wait until you're yeah. ready to answer. Those are uh, some exactly. of the boundaries that exactly. you can do, right? Yep. I mean, just, just because someone else uh, has a request for you, it's not your emergency, is it? That's right. Oh, you're amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 had, um, I, I knew a guy who was a sales manager and he used to, when people were ringing up in a tizzy, he would say, your, your failure to plan is not my emergency. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, yeah, so we've got some good ones here on uh, not just boundaries, but alignment as well. Uh, yeah, get people to check, hold you to account. Uh, <laughs> Lorna, call dad. <laughs> call dad. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, some children call dad if you need call me. Call dad. <laughs> call dad if you need me. That's quite funny. That's quite funny. That's yeah, right. I lo lo love that. So, yeah. alignment number one setting boundaries in every sense, mental and physical. Uh, yeah. And three collaborations, you know, um, our existence can be a, a lonely one, can be a life of, uh, of isolation. Uh, if you just simply you know stick within the four walls and regard social media as a outbound thing where you're just shoving stuff out of there so start conversations you know every conversation is a, is a collaboration in, in in some sense or other isn't it mm -hmm. um to just just don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help you know ask for help mm -hmm. um mentors and coaches one thing uh, collaborators within your peer network is another thing altogether, isn't it? Yeah. So with all that stuff in place, I think self self care is relatively easy to keep going, isn't it? I wonder yeah. what I wonder what the, I wonder what the, the the foundation of all this is. Then, if we had to name one thing, Lisa, which was mm -hmm. essential to a self care regime that you can sustain, what 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 might it be? I call it self-reverence. If we don't have reverence for ourselves, we really oh, truly okay. don't have full reverence for anything else, not our What's work life, word? not our friends. It's reverence, right? We hear in our industry, self-care, mm -hmm. self-love, self-acceptance, self-approval, that all amounts under the title of really, it's self-reverence. I, I, I revere my time. I revere the, the quality of the work that I put out to other people, which depends on me taking care yeah. of myself. It depends on me being able to say no. It depends on me being able to find people who can do what I can't for the same clientele. Yeah. Um, it, those things are really, truly part of a, a self-reverence regime. Yeah. Um, you know, and if we are, listen, I know that when I get distracted by things or I'm pulled into other people's drama while I'm trying to reach a goal, oh. I start to become really cranky. I oh, become yeah. very cranky, right? I, I want to focus on the things that I've set out for myself when I know my priorities, right? It's, it's my health. 
it's my yeah. family, it's my work. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and I, I wouldn't doubt that that's the same for most of you. Uh, and so how do you balance those? Will you balance them by being true to your boundaries, to the alignment that's involved, right? And to good collaborations that can help you along the way. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Yep. Yeah, I, I amen to all that. Well, just before we go, I'm going to make you an offer uh, to help you a wee bit with, um, certainly with alignment, I think it's fair to say, and this is how I'm going to do it. There is a ticker on the bottom here. Um, it says bit.ly forward slash SCA-23, and I'm actually going to copy this uh, from my bit.ly thing here. Uh, somewhere i should have done this before shouldn't i uh right here it is <laughs> this is called the social cocoon academy and it's a really really simple very very low cost uh course uh that you can buy I just popped it in the chat here if it's not appearing in the chat because you're watching this from somewhere else just just um copy it into your browser from the uh you know from, from the banner below bit.ly for slash sca-23 i'm going to just just share the screen on it and show you show you what it is um uh, screen share let's do this um okay there you go so this is going to help you to make money from your facebook group and therefore get in full alignment with your goals the easy way facebook groups are uh, and uh, uh, remain the the easiest way to build a community of of your uh, of your ideal clients uh, and to reach out to them. And uh, you know we've been doing this for the for the last few years. Lisa's been with me for a good part of the last few years. We've achieved over one million dollars in sales purely organically, purely from the JHM Facebook group. And uh, now we're going to show you exactly how to do it. It's a really, really simple thing. Only charging $397 for this. Or you can spread it over three payments. So you can pay one through three. But let me just show you what's in there. There's a, there's a three video course. It's a really simple three part course um, with the three elements which are going to help you build your Facebook group. By the way, if you've already got a Facebook group, this is still a good thing to do. In fact, it's definitely a good thing to do because it'll get your Facebook group working. And uh, the, the three elements are driving members into it, keeping them motivated and engaged when they're in it. And then thirdly, monetizing your Facebook group. So we're going to give you the whole deal, the whole bunch of secrets as to how to do this. An important part of it is that we're then going to also give you nine uh pdfs and cheat sheets and templates and stuff like that so that you can actually um build your facebook group at your own pace this is um by the way this is a diy course so you can do it at your own speed which people love to do so there's a thing about how to name your facebook group how to design the banner another template for that there's a non-spammy members invite direct message thing so you can craft the right kind of direct messages to get people in um there is also a thing to uh, a cheat sheet showing you how to please the algorithm how to please the algorithm that's an important thing isn't it so you get eyeballs on your content we're going to show you also how to never run out of post ideas so there's a formula for writing posts uh endlessly which you, you know you're just really going to keep on uh, writing them as long as you want there's an engagement post template pack there's some examples of some great engagement posts that we've used uh there's also a really important thing when you build a group you want to ask some questions before the members join and the answers to those questions can be captured and kept in a spreadsheet for you to use later we're going to show you exactly how to do that in this template so if you're curious how to ask the right questions and you know how to uh, how to save the answers that is yeah. uh lisa wrote this this is your thing isn't it yeah um lisa came up with some wonderful do's and don'ts of engagement um and if you do the wrong things you're going to crush your engagement in the group if you do the right things conversely you know you're going to get people showing up and, and uh, engaging um this is a really good one this is quite a long ebook this one and uh you know we're, we're putting this uh, actually in an offer for uh, nearly 100 bucks but we're, we're going to include this uh in this package how to revive a dead facebook group there's mm -hmm. 10 key things to do and we explain each of the 10 things in great detail uh you know as to 
what you need to do to actually get your Facebook group working. Um, if your Facebook group isn't working, it's not Facebook's fault, right? It's you that just isn't quite aligned with all the stuff you need to do, with the strategies you need to do. Uh, once you get it, once you once it gets under your skin, it's actually quite easy to keep it rolling. You know, you need to show up on a regular basis, but it's relatively easy. Now, there's also a massive bonus we're going to throw in, which uh, we're probably going to take this off the bottom um, sometime soon because it, it, you know, it's quite intensive for me. But if you actually join the Social Cure Academy today, either for three hundred ninety-seven dollars or you commit to three pounds of one three three, works out to exactly the same, almost within two dollars. Um, if you do that today, I will allow you to uh, access my calendar uh, and actually book a thirty-minute session with me. Um, I'll walk you through the Social Cocoon Academy course, uh, but equally, you know, we can talk about anything you want to talk about. It's uh, it's, it's your session, and uh, you'll leave that session with clarity on you know exactly how to set up your Facebook group and uh, you know what what to do with it once once you're in there, basically. Um, so this uh, this link that is scrolling on the bottom of the screen, bit.ly forward slash sca-23, it's all lowercase. Um, that will take you to the page that you can see on the screen now. You can just hit this button. Uh, stick 397 on a card uh, or 133 if you want to pay in three. And you'll get immediate access to all this stuff. You know, a three part video course and every single PDF and cheat sheet and ebook that we've ever created about how to make your Facebook group work. And just to remind you, uh, you know, it's the same process that we've used and that we're using now to grow the group every day. And indeed, that we've used to create over one million dollars uh, in sales to date. OK, so I'm not going to go blathering on about that. Um, suffice to say, thank you so much for being here. Um, have a fantastic weekend. Um, Click that blooming link for the Social Cocoon Academy. I'll see you on the inside. Yeah. You can book, of course, a, a personal call with me if you buy that. Um, yeah, it's been a good yeah. session today, Lisa. Isn't it? Very, Very good. It's really great to be here with everybody. And I'm going to just add, if you haven't been coming to CAA calls on Tuesdays, uh, 2 p.m. on, wait, are we on 2 p.m. now? No, it's on, uh, what time no, are we talking? It's, it's 2 p.m. UK time, right, which that's right. next Clocks week will, will be, be normal. Uh, It'll be 9 a.m. Eastern, won't it? Next yes, week. it will be. Come. I've got a special surprise for you on Tuesday. I will be joining Johnny this coming Tuesday. Uh, um, yeah. And it'll I don't be, know what that is. No, you don't. I haven't told you yet. Yeah. But it's right along these lines. So join us and just yeah. continue. So to just as so you know, so we avoid any confusion. Mm -hmm. um, if you join the Social Cocoon Academy today, I'll get you a link to join that session with Lisa next we'll get a week. pass. That'll be As great. a special yeah. trick. Get, give you a pass. These nice. sessions on Tuesdays are our, what we call our Academy Secret Sessions. They're only available to our paying clients um, and not normally for the Social Cocoon Academy either. But uh, mm -hmm. what I will do is I'll let you get access to it if you join the Social Cocoon Academy. That's good. Bit.ly. For slash SCA 23. So for, for $133, you're going to get an amazing bundle of goodness, including joining our session on Tuesday, on where Tuesday. Lisa has got a special surprise for us, for sure. I do. All right, Hi. you lovely lot. It is so good to be here. Lisa, thank That's you so good. much. Um, ah, you're welcome. It's a pleasure. Your time Great. today, and yeah. we'll see you after the weekend. Love you lots. Bye. Bye bye.